to our Airbnb. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, it's so cool. We have a little kitchenette. Nice little kitchenette. It's like a big cave. It's like a big cave. So here are the doors. Walk in here. Little windows. Gotta show ya. Oh. Wow. Just right there. Just a little patio. And the beach. So cute. Pretty unique architecture here. Yeah, so we're in a cave, literally. Sorry, we've moved in already. Here is our bedroom. It's cute, just in a cave. Lakey's bed. It's cool stairs. You walk up. <laughs> you walk up the stairs to this cute bedroom. So cute. And then this goes out to the front where the lovers are being lovers. <laughs> this is the bathroom. It's actually very cool. <laughs> We have a sauna, shower, we have one toilet, we have a two toilets, and we have another shower that goes into another shower, a little shower head. Whoa, that was loud. I already showed that. We're and we have a Nicky boy. <laughs> we have a Nicky boy. Because <laughs> he's getting a little bit of a heat rash. <laughs> Pretty cool. Okay. This is our Airbnb. We walk up these little stairs to the green door. And then, ready for the view? Ah. Oh my gosh. Straight out of a movie. Oh, straight out of a movie. Hold on, I'll just shut this before it slams. How you feeling? I'm feeling pretty good. This is super cool, relaxing spot. What's up? Oh, we are here right in here. Santorini, Greece, baby. Just chilling on the cliff. Oh, look at this water. I really want to get in. I want to get in so too. Look to at access. that. We got it all the way down there. Just jump. After a very long day of traveling, we had a reservation booked for a sunset dinner. So here we are just walking to our reservation. The pathway that you take to go anywhere in Santorini is just absolutely stunning. There were just shops all lined up the walkways with just the perfect Santorini blue is my favorite color and a bunch of artwork and decor. I mean, really anything that you could dream up. It's just so beautiful. This is another little look at the walkways. This is pretty much how narrow they are everywhere. And there are stores and restaurants just jam-packed all down these walkways. It's so gorgeous. Here's another look at the floor. I mean, this is just straight marble. Why don't we have this in America? Everywhere you look, just absolutely gorgeous views. I kept pinching myself the whole time, wondering how we were in this unreal place. 
Here we are at dinner, the most beautiful view for a sunset. Open your eyes, Santorini blue, bud. Our food ended up taking a little bit to prepare and Lycan was getting a little antsy so we came down to this little pool area. It was so pretty. We had pretty much the exact same view of the beautiful sunset that we did up at the little terrace. So here we are just enjoying the sunset. I don't know if you guys know this, you probably do, but Santorini specifically has world famous sunsets like they are famous for the beautiful sunsets and it's true every night the sunsets were amazing this felt just like a little fairy tale walking with my little baby boy with the beautiful sun setting behind us it was just a big pinch me moment <coughs> You're doing great! <laughs> Yay! Do you love it here? You love the water, huh? Here's another view of just that gorgeous sunset with the little blue domes. I mean, are you serious? And then we headed back to our Airbnb. <laughs> When we got back to the Airbnb, we decided to let Lakin try some of our pasta. He had never had pasta before, and he absolutely loved it. It is so cute to just watch your kids be as obsessed with things as you are. So this was really fun for us. This is the reality of life with the baby. We're back at the Airbnb. I have my dinner to go. You can see it. It's very delicious. We have waking and a view. He's been a champ this whole trip. He's, he's doing very well. He's been doing very well, but it's just... But he's still a nine-month-old baby. And he's still on San Diego time a little bit. Not, not as much, but you know. It's a tough trip. It's a tough transition. Yeah. We're probably ten hours different from San Diego. Yeah. But. And there's a cat. Where? He's jumped on. Is it? Yeah, there are a bunch of cats everywhere, but man, this island is crazy. It's so pretty. It is really pretty. There's just views so everywhere you pretty. go. Yeah, everywhere I go, I just everywhere keep taking pictures. Yeah, the picture spot. Yeah, I mean, just look at it. Look at this. The little sailboats down there. Yeah, day one has been perfect here. Yeah, so we are going to hot tub. Mm. Mm. The next morning, we went to our breakfast reservation, which was at a restaurant called Karma. Again, this did not disappoint. If Greece does anything right, which they do a lot of things right, it is the food. Everything that I had there was so delicious. I wish that I could just have it every single day for the rest of forever. But this location was so cute. Just a little cozy little nook. We started out with this little smoothie. It was really, really delicious. Like, and was loving it too. Everything's pretty clean too. So this didn't have any added sugar or anything. It was just straight, fresh ingredients. So we love that. And then we got some avocado toast, the salad, some banana pancakes, you know, 
we go pretty hard when it comes to food. Yeah, you're getting a piece too. The first years of the trip. Oh, yes. Bon diggity. Beef, right? Pork, pork, chicken. Pork and chicken. Oh. We then had our sunset sailboat excursion. This was absolutely amazing. This was hands down my favorite part of the entire trip, which is saying a lot because we had a lot of really amazing times. But this just was on a completely different level. We had the entire boat to ourselves, which we wanted because of Lakin and his schedule, and we didn't know what it was going to be like, and we just didn't want to put anybody out. Our crew was just so sweet the entire time to all of us, but mainly Lake, and they were obsessed with him. I mean, he wasn't, but the views were unreal. Here's this little lighthouse. I think the reason that this was so amazing was because I had in my head that this was going to be so stressful. I did not think Lakin was going to like it. I was just thinking, we're going to get on this boat and then I'm going to have nowhere to escape and what if Lakin just doesn't like it, you know? It's a very valid fear. But I just thought, you know, we're here. I got to live my life. And so I think because of all the fears that I had built up in my head, it made it even more amazing because Lakin loved it. You guys, we're going to be the next YouTube sailing family. So watch out. <laughs> just kidding. But I kept thinking the entire time, okay, I could do this. I totally want to live on a boat. It was so fun. Okay. Lakin. Lakin. Is that the same boat behind us? Sadorini, super fresh and super alive. Mm. And here we have a salad, Greek mm -hmm. salad. Yum. And the, under that is the feta cheese with the fresh tomato sauce and the shrimps. Oh. Yeah. And the basil, no basil and basilicos. Uh, the other one, I find you in Google. What's in this? Oh, noodles. Pasta. 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 So in about one minute, if you want to be ready, super fresh. Yeah, super fresh. Remember that meal that I had at that first restaurant for dinner? Yeah, he made it again, but it was even better. I don't know how or why. It was so good. Windows down, scattered clouds. Smell of spring, I'm sad. Open road, you sit in close. Let's go somewhere far away. Cause if all I have is you, then I'll be just fine. Oh, so 